has a 750 watt motor and they the website says it has 1200 peak we're going to check that out it's got a 48 volt 15 amp hour battery in this down tube which is nice and integrated it has ginormous 26 by 4 inch tires which have some nice tread definitely do some nice uh light off road with this it has suspension forks preload and lockout and it's nice that the seat actually came with <clears throat> it's a suspension seat post so that's pretty cool and uh i've always been saying on all, all these bikes that I, I review that if you just got a cheap suspension seat post you're good to go and it doesn't take much and this the suspension seat post like changes everything so um it's got hydraulic disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors in the back and front it's got a seven speed derailleur shimano tourney pretty standard the uh the x5e has if you turn push this button right here there's the display comes on it's nice and, and colorful it's got your odometer it's got your speed it's got your pedal assist levels you press this button here and you get five pedal assist levels press this button and the light comes on pretty cool um i'm not seeing a rear light anywhere maybe yeah i don't see a rear light anywhere but what is interesting is the back fender i believe goes on like this isn't that interesting it actually goes on the back of the seat post it's kind of cool um and it's it's kind of got that the, the fenders kind of have that motorcycle feel to them you know um it's a good looking bike i mean really nice looking bike i really like it i love the color i love the uh the sparkle in it it's a really nice paint job and uh you know very clean welds and uh it's just a nice looking bike you know all right we're gonna start with a grass test dead stop throttle only and it pulls you through really nice it's got some nice torque for the 750 watt motor um yeah some nice torque and some really nice you know uh traction for sure these tires are ginormous and they've got the nice uh tread on them and then that seat post is crazy what it does for you it's crazy you don't feel it when you're going through the uh you know the terrains let's watch this see we're going through this garbage junk here i'm not really feeling it at all the seat post really does you right i like that a lot so i don't know why but this bike it feels really robust you know you feel like you're on a beast you know it's only 73 pounds but it's got that feel of like you know robust and durability so the bike goes 20 miles an hour in throttle and 28 in pedal assist okay and uh we're gonna check it out i will say it gets up to 20 pretty quick it's got some nice pull and it's got some nice torque and it's quick you know so that's pretty cool um 1099 you know these bikes are starting to get less and less expensive um six months ago i would have said i wish it goes faster than 20 miles an hour but for the price i mean that's not bad at all especially if you pedal you go 28 you know and again it's a twig it's a it's a good 20 it's a powerful 20. it's a fast 20. you know we're gonna go up this big hill in a minute and you're gonna see this thing goes up there probably no problem a couple things we're gonna do the throttle test okay and we're gonna show it goes up to 20. i don't know if you can tell it's kind of hard to see the display during the day but we're at 18 19 or 20. look at look at that just like that it went to 20. that's how fast it is so it goes actually 20.6 20.7 20 okay so now we're gonna go in pedal assist mode. All right, we're gonna go in pedal assist mode. We're in pedal assist one, and we're in gear four. And we're going about 10 miles an hour. Pedal assist, whoa, shit. Big jump from one to two, holy Christ. We're going 15 miles an hour. Pedal assist three, I gotta gear up. We're in gear six, we're gear five. We're going 21. Pedal assist six, pedal assist four, gear seven, and we're going, I'm almost air pedaling. 
Oh, we're getting up to we're getting up to 26 or so, and you're air pedaling. So if you're pedaling pedaling the bejesel shweezel out of this thing, you can definitely get it to 28, but you're gonna be pedaling really fast um, because you're almost air pedaling, you know. So it's a nice 750 watt motor, and it says 1200 peak, and I believe it. You know what else says they're 1200 peak? Super 73. It says double the torque of a Super 73. So, anyway, big old, big old, big old hill. I go up on a lot of my on a lot of my bikes up this hill, and uh, I can compare a lot of bikes to it. So, this will be a good comparison. We're doing throttle only. And we're gonna start from a dead stop. Okay. There we go. It starts out at about four to six percent and then it gets up to about 10 to 12. And we are going 14 miles an hour. So we're slowing down like crazy. We are doing it. We might not even make it. We're at five miles an hour, people. Okay, it's not gonna make it. Yeah, I gotta try pedal assist. So this thing, what's weird, weird is I just figured this out. You use the throttle consistently for like 15 seconds and it puts it in um, cruise control, which is kind of cool. And then you just hit the brakes to turn it off. So now we're gonna put it in, I'm gonna just go for the gusto, put it pedal assist five, and I'm going to put it in gear, gear four. I'm putting gear three. Middle says five, gear three. Okay, I put it in gear one. Pedal assist five, and I'm not really killing myself. You can tell I'm barely breathing. Like I'm barely giving it power on the pedals, but we had to drop all the way down to gear one. Pedal assist five to get up the hill, and we did it. So that's pretty cool. So you got enough power, especially if you're if you're pedaling, to get up a pretty pretty big hill, which is nice. Okay. Now we're going throttle the rest of the way, and we're picking up speed. So yeah. Let me do a brake test here in a sec. Yeah, nice, tight, tight brakes. Really good deceleration, like bam. Digging that. Yeah, you just feel like you're on something really robust. I don't know. It's almost got like a BMX feel to it. I don't know why that is, but it just feels really cool to me. So yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean look, cruise control. So nice comfortable bike. Nice stylish bike. Great brakes. Good motor. Decent sized battery. 48 volt, 15 amp hour. You're gonna get probably throttle only 22 to 25. Pedaling 25, 28. Um, that's my experience. I know they say something different on the website, but that's my experience. And uh, I think this is the 130th e-bike I've ridden, and I've now owned 50. So take it what it's worth. I do a little bit of experience in these things. Okay. Thumb throttle on the left. Got a horn. Forgot about that. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I mean, a good-looking bike and a, you know some good capabilities for 1099. You know, with the the uh, suspension seat suspension seat post, suspension forks, and the hydraulic disc brakes for 11, for 1099. That's pretty good. Um, yeah. I'm a big fan. I like the bike. I really like the look. I love that it's got the battery in the down tube. Um, it's got a lot of internal cabling. And 
definitely do a little bit of dirt on this thing. There's no question with your uh, suspension and whatnot. So check it out, people. Free sky. So a little dirt here with a little bit of pebbles on top. A little loose dirt with pebbles on top. Um, you got some nice carbon, people. These tires are really something. And you got really nice suspension. I'm not feeling much. And uh, easily do a fire road on this. You can even do some light, some light trail riding. No question. You can do a lot with this bike. I mean, these ginormous tires just like roll over anything, you know? Crazy. Now, if you lower these tires to like 15 psi, I think they're 20 right now, then uh, you're not gonna feel anything, you know? They're like pontoons. But yeah, look at this. We're like killing it in the grass, you know? We're carving, we're rocking, we're rolling, we're rolling over everything. Going over potholes, barely feeling anything. We're in, we're in cruise control. Bam! Hit the brake, it's off. Just like that. It's pretty cool.